Yo, what is up guys? It's just not here and today I'm gonna show you guys how to build an Aston Martin DBR9. So yeah, let's get right into it. Evan beats. Evan beats. Evan beats. So yeah guys, as I said, this is pretty much an Aston Martin DBR9 in Lego, and I honestly think this creation came out pretty nice. I think I captured the look of the DBR9 pretty well here throughout the mock. It took a long time to come up with designs for this, especially for the rear and the front section with the tail and headlights, but I think I pulled it off pretty nicely. You guys can see here how I kind of did the front grill and all of that stuff. So to kind of get that design, I used two inverted red 1x2 brackets. And on kind of like the top of those brackets, I used one of these kind of like 1x2 kind of like specialized tile pieces. And I used two of these pizza slice pieces in black to kind of get that angle it has on the grill. For the lights, I of course went with the standard yellow lights because that's how they pretty much make these GT cars. The lights are not the standard white with orange, they're just the yellow color. And for the theme here, I kind of did with a white kind of draft with a red secondary color. And as you guys can see, I do have a red stripe going down the middle. And then like on the left side right here, I have an additional black stripe. And I kind of use that throughout the whole design here, apart from the roof. It looked a little weird up here, so I left that part out. I have like a little kind of red paint splatter design on the side. The bottom right here of the front section is very simple. I just built it upside down right here as you guys can see this back part is the standard kind of building style but then the whole splitter and this whole bottom section is built upside down for some engine detailing up here i use some of these one by one clips in black and then a one by two grill in the middle right there the sides are kind of simple i have some regular plates down here and then some more curved slopes up there and then i use some one by two curve slopes right here and kind of angle them out kind of get some additional shaping now i use some one by two grills right here to kind of get some of the air vent design it has on that kind of section right there and then moving on to the rear this is probably one of my favorite aspects of this car it's pretty much this tail light design now i went through so many different techniques to kind of get this tail light design down so what i did for this technique is i used some clips right here and then behind it i used some of these trans red cheese slopes and then on the clips i attached kind of these smaller tooth pieces in white to kind of get the shaping of the tail lights and i think that actually came out really really nice really enjoy how that is and then for the bottom right here, I used some more one by two cheese slopes, not cheese slopes, curve slopes. And then I kind of went with these kind of like modified tiles for the diffuser design. Moving on to the wing, I also really like how this design came out. I used four of these kind of like bar clips and then they also have a bar on the end. I used some of those in light gray and then I connected it to this spoiler design up here. I actually like it, how I used the curve slopes and then the regular kind of like brackets to kind of extend it out and get some more side detail in there. But to connect those two together, I used some regular light gray hollow studs and I think this came out really nice. I think I captured the look of the wing pretty well. But I mean, yeah, that is pretty much it for the basis of the car. Of course, it can fit a minifigure. But I mean, yeah, that is pretty much it for the review of the Aston Martin DBR9. Now into the build tutorial.
that's pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy this LEGO Aston Martin DBR9, please hit that like button and that subscribe button with the notification bell on if you want to see more LEGO creations built by me. But anyways, guys, it's just now. Signing out.